Good morning, everyone. Welcome. It's a, it's a chilly day outside. It's really nice and warm in here. I love it. Economic statistics that obviously don't ever lie much. 2023, that's next year, of course. <laughs> we, uh, I'm still kind of up in the air about what, what to do for pricing because, and I'm going to show, I, have, I took some uh, pictures of charts online. Uh, one was through the National Association of Home Builders. They had some really good stuff on there that show uh, where prices are going, where they've been. Not so much where they're going to go. Um, I looked at the futures chart that I refer to quite a bit on NASDAQ. And I'm just going to show you what they're doing, but it's kind of interesting and it supports my confusion. So let's go over here and take a look on, on the laptop at some charts. Okay, I'll see if I can get an up, uh, a close up for you on the laptop and we'll, we'll point and click at some things. See if it takes a minute for this to, I want to make sure you can get, get a good view of this. All right, let's get a little closer, then I can point at things. So this is what I know, uh, uh, garages. This is my base model, <clears throat> current price, 26000 $975 as of December 12th, 2022. The question is, where is that price going to go? Well, or where has it been? It, let's see, four years ago, that price was about $16,000, four years ago. Uh, it's been steadily going up. I have not raised the price for Oh, I think three months, which <laughs> over the past few years, that has been extraordinary, actually, because it's been almost sometimes weekly or monthly as I experienced price increases. So just to recap or go over this, this model, this ranch, 26975 includes a six, it, <clears throat> this one has an apron out front, concrete apron. It does not include that. Has the con a six inch concrete slab with a thickened perimeter, two by four treated sill plates, two by four studs, with a finished ceiling height of eight feet, one and a half inches or so, one and five eighths, somewhere in there. Uh, vinyl siding, metal roofing, the Soffit is vinyl, perforated, and it's the ridge is vented so that the ventilation goes in here, goes up through the roof peak all the way so you get a good airflow. It's a metal fascia that we bend, we bend the fascia in the shop um, and nail that on, of course. Steel insulated overhead doors with a row of glass in each one, a, a, a three-foot entry door on the side, and two windows. So that's pretty much the basic, that's what it includes. Let's go to the next graph here, or the first graph. This is through the National Association of Home Builders. It's a really great site. They, they offer you some really good information. Uh, so I want to be sure to give them credit for this. This is from January 2018 through July of 2021, which is pretty much indicative of, of the way my pricing went. <clears throat> Somewhere in here, I had to start going up on prices. What they don't show, the chart ends July 2021, and here we are in December of 22. So there's over a year's worth of things that happened over here that they have not put on there. So it, it looks like it's going down because it tapered off. Let's go to another chart. ReadyMix concrete prices. 
Again, this is through the National Association of Home Builders. And it ends July 2021, and it goes back to January 2018. All, this is not what I have seen in my area for concrete, ready, ready mix concrete pricing. It's been steady going. <laughs> it's even, they've announced it's going up for the spring of 23. So this is, this, this is great. It shows what's happened in the past. It doesn't show what, what's happened in the past year, year and a half. Another chart. Steel prices. This is through, through uh, September of 21. <clears throat> Again, this is the National Association of Home Builders graph. Uh, it kind of just, that's what prices normally do. They're up and down and up and down. But then there was a huge spike back, started in oh, September, October of 2020. And now it's just like, that, that, that doesn't show, again, what happened, what has happened in the past year and a half or so. My prices in, for steel, for steel roofing, it, it affects the garage doors, anything with metal in it. Rebar, pretty much across the board, has done this. This is the lumber futures chart that I use. This is off of NASDAQ. It's been very helpful for me, for me to look at. This is for the past five years, and it's pretty much current. <clears throat> you can see it hovered around, oh, four or $500, dropped as low as down in the $300 range <clears throat> per thousand board feet of lumber. <clears throat> you can see in 2021, it reached its peak and then it just nosedived <clears throat> and then went up and down. So currently lumber uh, back here in 2018 for a two by four eight spruce, I was paying uh, around $2 or so per stick. Today off the shelf, they're $3 and 75 cents. So it still has not reflected the price dropping uh, along through here. These are the futures. I keep looking for the lumber price to come down to where it was back here, but that hasn't happened. Same with plywood. Pretty much plywood has followed this graph. <clears throat> back here, it was somewhere uh, $18 a sheet for 5.8 CDX. Reached a high of $82 a sheet in... Uh, 2021, mid 2021. This showed a, a dramatic drop. The plywood kind of didn't follow it. It just sort of, it was a little <laughs> less uh, intensive drop. So plywood here is currently, well, okay, back here, plywood was around $18 a sheet for 5.8 CDX. Now it's $33 a sheet today. Labor, this is from labor, U.S. Labor Statistics, <clears throat> 2018. I'm not sure what the blended labor rate is for, if it's just across the board of uh, construction, office workers. Um, I, don't, I don't know how they broke that out, what that included. Well, <clears throat> just to, for a reference point, it was a little over $22 per hour in 2018. Today, it's around $28, just over $28. So it's gone up 20, 25% since 2018, four years, five years. So that's not, that took a big jump there. It's not showing any let up in labor. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Is that the last one? Let's see, yeah, U.S. labor. Okay. Let's get up and talk a little more. All right, so summing up, I would say that I'm pretty sure that paint's dry. <laughs> yeah, it is, okay. 
Uh, my prices for next year are still in limbo. I don't know if I'm going to have to go up. I'll just keep watching the prices through the, the winter. I know we're still, the, uh, the, this particular job that uh, we've framed the walls and the walls are outside, they, the prices have gone up since, since I purchased the materials for that. So I'm glad I bought them because, uh, again, I can guarantee that price. I don't really see, who knows, I don't see it going down. I, I don't see it going up a lot. I know the, the labor costs have gone up a lot because uh, their people's costs have gone up, like with food, transportation, gas, gas and fuel, fuel in particular. Now heating oil in the winter is just really way up there. So I don't see that dropping. I have seen the, the lumber dropped, some plywood. I, I haven't seen metal roofing drop at all. That's been pretty stable. Trusses, they, were, they went up just a little bit here, this last set of trusses that I bought. So um, it seems the blended, all the blends of the different things, different like uh, concrete, Concrete, will they just continually raise the price pretty much to inflation. Whatever inflation, I just saw a thing that uh, in November inflation was up 7%. I don't know what all that means yet. Uh, I didn't really read the article. Just it didn't, it was up and not down. <laughs> Try not to ramble here because there's so many, there's so many aspects to these statistics, but it, it looks to me, I, again to say it, I think I'll be holding my price at where it's at. My labor is going up. Some of the materials are going down. Some of the materials are staying, materials are staying the same, and some have still gone up more. But it looks like, I'll, I'll just keep reviewing it, uh, week by week, basically, going through the winter and into spring to see where we're at. Uh, I had said earlier that I had an x-ray done and it showed a uh, torn ligament. Well, I have a good friend that's a physical therapist. He is like top notch and I'm going to see him in a couple of days to get it checked out until I can see the orthopedist. I can't get in to see them for uh, till the first of the year, till like the 11th or so of January. So I need to do something just to know what I can do, what I should do for therapy even, to, to uh, try to help it along. Uh, but he said, x-rays don't show ligaments. So I probably misunderstood the doctor when I spoke with him about it. Anyway, uh, he said it will show changes in bone, uh, maybe separation or, or closing or something if, if a ligament is torn. So maybe that's how they got to it, got, uh, got to their answer of what they gave me, which I probably didn't interpret correctly. Anyway, the, my, uh, my trailer, I've start, I'm, I'm just doing a light renovation on this. I'm, I'm just uh, smoothing up a little bit and spraying and brushing on flat, uh, I mean a, a gloss black paint enamel on here. I checked underneath, all the axles, springs, shackles, everything's in good condition. The wheel bearings are great. I have my fenders, can't wait to peel that coating off and show that beautiful diamond, chrome diamond plate on there. And I've picked up bolts. I'll be drilling those out to, to mount them uh, on the trailer. Hey, have a great Christmas and then have a happy new year really appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. We, we do try to do three videos a week. Make, leave a comment, hit that like button. That helps, helps my algorithm. All right, thanks, we'll see you later.